Hey, hello everyone, it's your host, Get Good Fox. Welcome back to State of Decay 2 in the Lethal Zone Beta. So today, uh, we've got some things we need to do. Uh, we, yes, we're going to be doing some trading, some building, and apparently we've got a horde about to go on its way, so I think we need to nip this little problem in the proverbial bud by, um, I don't know. Making them a little toastier. Don't know where that feral is. I was announced. Oh, that's interesting. I'm pretty sure I dodged. But the game is like, no, you didn't. Once we give this feral the squisheroni, we'll be fine. Okay. Next, we need to give their the zombie stronghold the squisheroni. Hey, if you folks aren't too busy, could you maybe lend us a hand? And then they need medicine. Well, you know what? I, I maybe I'll just do that. One of the many forward operators. Um, screamers. Should probably search somewhere else. Screamers? Three of them are supposed to be here. Screamers! Oh come on! If there's no screamers here, you're supposed to shadow realm this base. The zombie base needs to be destroyed. Because here's the deal, just because just because there's no screamers here doesn't mean that it doesn't count as an infestation that's constantly generating more guys. Okay, game, I see how it is. I see how it is. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. Oh, good. These are the forward operators who are like... These are the forward operators who are right next to our base. No, you don't. Well, maybe he does. Yeah, maybe he does. That is not the screamer either. All this trouble, only for the base. The, the, we can't even clear this zombie infestation. Uh, oh wait, we gotta pick up some medicine from our headquarters. Okay, that's perfect, because they'll turn friendly unless it gets passed elsewhere, because I'm loaded up with some goods to trade. Uh, let me see, let me heal myself real quick. And um, I don't remember, okay, oh, it's convenient. I, I like it when a base's storage is very close to the entrance. Very convenient. Okay, let's go, well, we can, um, I'm gonna pack one more repair kit in here, we'll reattach the door in a moment. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is see how valuable all of that beer we had been brewing is. Because we had been using the still periodically to brew a little extra beer. Uh, oh, I thought I would have been... There was a big hole in the in the fence. I figured that meant I could drive through there, but uh, apparently not. That's fine, though. I'll find a way to drive closer. I guess I could have also hopped over the barricade, but or the, the wall, but that's fine. Hey there. This is also, I guess, our new character, Lily. Not gonna lie, I don't remember where Lily came from. Or why we have her. I mean, I guess we have her because I need eight people to move into the container fort. That's what happens, though, when you've got multiple playthroughs going. Sometimes I get our Twitch playthrough mixed up with our YouTube playthrough. But that's fine. Fortunately, I am good enough at the game that I can get confused and forget and still get the job done. Oh, fighting skill almost maxed out. Ah, yes. 
So somebody on Reddit mentioned, like, man, it stinks how in, like, one zombie can scream in in Lethal Zone, and then you're stuck fighting, like, dozens of zombies. I'm like, oh, yeah. He's like, uh, I thought clearing the play... He was like, he was like, I thought clearing the play guards would make it better, and I said, no, I'm afraid that never changes. Much obliged. Goodbye. Who, who got the friendship? A stranger now. Come on in. Not them, uh, apparently. Okay, so I guess they passed off the... Oh, now they... Okay, okay, they did. Okay. It just took a moment to update. Okay. All right, so That's let's good. see. So these are worth 153 for a batch. Let me go ahead and sell two of them. So they're now worth 51 influence each. I, I wonder why 51? Why not just 50? Um, but 51 influence each, which uh, seems decent. It seems okay. Like, I, don't, I haven't, like, crunched the numbers to find out if that's good or not. But I will buy that. And um, then we'll go see what the... I don't know if they bumped up the value of the, br the Growlers of Barley Wine. But, um, oh, looks like that thing is about to poop another infestation out. Let me go... Look, look I just want to check to see if it's going to unglitch itself. We'll see, though. I was supposed to also reattach the door. Let me go ahead and do that. Also, let's see how the base is looking. Have we upgraded this to the max? No. Oh, we're still bogged down on... Okay, I see. We're bogged down on that. We still have a little bit of manpower, though. Um, maybe we can change leaders and... Oh, here we go. Workshop level two. Perfect. Okay, let's reattach the door. And I believe our objective is uh, we need to make money and replenish our supplies a bit. Like, that's always a big deal. Ah, yes, he did, in fact, poop another infestation out or another horde out. And that's because they are a level 3 infestation. Um, at this point, the infestation cannot upgrade itself. Infestations, you know, they start out at level 1. And uh, normally they have the choice of whether or not they want to... Oh, that was convenient. So the explosion of the bloaters actually finished off the rest of the... Um, of the horde. Let's see if they will respawn now. I... Wait, 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 wait. I hear something. There's one. Okay, I think we got this. Really? There we go. Okay, that should burn all of them. I'm about to drop. Good thing I can jump onto these container thingies. Where's my car at? Okay, it's over there. And now we'll head over to the car. No, you don't. Ow. Didn't want to use a strong painkiller, but I'll use it. So let's go on over and we will heal the rest of ourselves back up. That's also why you do want to expand your health. Expanding your health is really useful because in the event you are playing like me, where you're just trying to go as fast as possible, then um, you have more room to get beaten up. And it works out for the best. Let's also sell some of these crappy... Actually, I'm going to scrap these crappy backpacks. I think that's actually a better choice overall. Um, I guess you folks are all right. I would like to... We don't have one. Wow. Wait, we still have two manpower? Where did that come from? Okay, I think we need to change leaders. Yeah, this is becoming level three. Yeah, let's change leaders. So Ashandra is getting demoted. It's unfortunate that our waifus keep getting promoted to leader. But I don't think we I, I don't think we had an option. Could be better, but I'll take what I can get. Because now that she's demoted, we do lose part of our cafeteria squad capabilities 
second. I believe Wait. next what I want to do is... The Builder? Might as well get that maxed out. Builder, yeah, I think that's fine. We'll get uh, this going. Actually, no, we need the trader. Yeah, and as you can see, Afifa is the ideal trader because even though she is a waifu character, um, the advantage that she has is that... Wait. Oh, did we just lose our manpower? I don't know what's happening. The advantage is that she's a play guard squisher, which means she bounces very rapidly back from um, wait, heavy duty ammo press. I, I'm going to sell that. I don't need that. I'm never going to use that. Um, I'm never going to use these either. So I'm going to. I'm going to. Actually, I'm just going to sell. Now I'll sell. I, 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 we might need them to build something. Okay. So we cleared out that infestation. I want to sell some stuff. And um, although we are building at a good speed, it's still, you know, it, it's taking a moment. You know, constructing the base, it takes a moment. It's fine, though. And I don't think construction is uh, worth it for the, the ability to speed up the base. Construction could be worth it for the ability to produce more building materials out of your forge. Here. But um, I don't know if it's going to be worth it in terms of like, I, or at least it's construction is one of the skills that could really use some help. Construction could be a much, much better. Okay, let's sell to these guys. Would you like to trade? Okay, sure. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what the growler of barley wine is worth. And there's a zombie in here. So the Growler of Barley Wine is worth 102, so it's actually worth twice as much as a single uh, beer. That said, remember that you do craft the beer in batches. I think you craft them in batches of either three or four. Keep that streamer quiet. Uh, how the the real question is going to be: Is it now? Now that they've buffed it up, is it going to be better than strong painkillers? The answer is, um, I mean, like it could be. Like uh, that, I mean, that those prices look pretty good to me. That's just me eyeballing it, though. Like you know, that that's not like a a breakdown of the the value. Uh, the heavy duty ammo press always nice. One hundred and seventy. The note seventeen. And overall, that makes us, that brings us to 2,000, which is very nice. Okay, so with 2,000 influence, we should, let's see if we can activate anything. Hey, can anyone hear this? Let me know if you're listening, okay? How have you been? Okay, that's good news. And uh, let's see, where are we? Are they going to be welcome to the party somewhere? Also, did we kill all the... Yes, that was the only infestation in the area. And where are they? Oh, not that far away, actually. Yeah, trading... I know I've said it before, but... Good gravy is trading ever so important in lethal zone. I think that's a good thing, though. I feel like... I feel like the appropriate difficulty for State of Decay should encourage trading... Like, basically, if I were to design the game's new standard zone, I feel like there should be enough of a resource scarcity that you are encouraged to trade. I think that's... I, th I do think that is an interesting part of the game. And I do feel like if there are too many resources, the fact that you could just, like, loot everything you need, I think that... I don't know. It's just, like... I feel like being pushed... I don't think that it needs to be quite at the lethal zone level. But I even in Nightmare Zone, I feel like maybe a little more severe than Nightmare Zone, but a little less severe than lethal zone, because I feel like trading really, really emphasizes the idea of um, trying to build civilization back in a, a post-apocalyptic scenario. Um... 
And it's not just the trading, because it's also, uh, if you're a fan of looting, well then, like, what better thing to do than to have people to trade with that, uh, where's the survivor at? Really? That. Kind of far away. Normally, survivor activity is close by. We'll do it, though. Because, one, if you're, if you're a fan of looting, if looting is your favorite... Basically, I feel like there should be different ways to trade in State of Decay. One way that I think trading should be done through is looting. Now, that's one we do have. You can go around looting, and then you can sell the things you don't need. Maybe it would be kind of more interesting if there was a way to kind of figure out what people want, and then, like... You, you know, you loot a bunch of different things and you're like, well, this enclave will pay extra for this or that enclave will pay extra for that. Or maybe they could have like, one of the, here's one, as I've been playing, ro oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. if you haven't watched me play some of these rogue games, I think rogue gameplay elements would benefit State of Decay so, so much. I think they would make the game a lot more fun. And I think a really awesome idea would be like, just different kind of like, effects that change every few days like there could be an effect where there's like a scarcity of like medical supply or like maybe uh, an illness is sweeping through the area that's the effect and as a result um, medicine becomes more valuable and people will pay more for medicine and maybe like you know that's an area where you could capitalize on on medicine or maybe, like, there could be a phase where it's like, oh, the zombies are raging. Like, the zombies are, like, more active and ammo and explosives and incendiaries become more valuable and you can sell them for more money and stuff like that. And it's, you know, you don't really know what's going to happen. Like, you know, you're not really, like, you're, you're not entire. You, you know something's going to happen and the game is going to change. But, oh, good. Look at that. Coming out to help. How did he bite me? Fortunately, we have so much health that it doesn't really matter. But like, that's one of the things that's so fun about rogue games is they have these little like modifiers, and you know they they don't change the game like to the point that you're playing a totally different game. But but they make you like reconsider your strategy. You're like, ooh, I could capitalize on this little event here, and I think that's something that would really really benefit State of Decay. Might as well loot this little, like, knick-knack location. It's not marked on the map, but... Uh, we already... Okay, here we go. Let's get the still upgraded. Want to get that still going so that we can process any extra food. Also, having the still up, it does encourage us to take more food, even if we're past the cap. Because then we know, with the still, we're going to be able to turn all of that into things to sell. But yeah, that so the looting should be like a way you can make money. Obviously you can, but you know, like, the reason trade is needed is because then it emphasizes manufacturing. And I think manufacturing could be more emphasized in State of Decay. And, um, oh, what do we got? So we have Powerhouse, um, Powerhouse and Scouting. Why not Powerhouse and Discipline? Well, Powerhouse encourages us to carry a heavy weapon, and a heavy weapon goes against what Discipline wants. Uh, Discipline wants us to stay in light carry. I mean, I guess Discipline also helps us preserve our weapon durability, but I don't think that's extremely important. That's why I'm going to go for... Um... Okay, good, that stacks. And uh, maybe we'll carry all of this away. I can sell the chemicals, because uh, I feel like we're seeing like 40. I don't think we're going to need more than 40. Let me see if this guy will trade. Also, let's use any more labor. Uh, no, our labor appears to be maxed out. That's excellent. Why do we only have... Oh, we can upgrade one more time. I was wondering... Um, you want to trade? Oh, perfect. You found some weird stuff. You want to take it off my hands? Okay, yeah. It is, um... Oh, I bet it's going to be Echo Lab stuff. Let's see what we have here. Cool. Yeah, it's a dose of Zedi, I see. Okay, let's sell all of this first. So that's perfect. Um, yeah, I'll take it. He's going to give us money for completing the quest, too. Yeah. Let me see. Um... Okay, let's see what you've got. Oh, a building material. Absolutely. Okay, so he should pay us for this. Let me see if we get anything. Yeah, 100 influence, so. 
And then on top of that, we, we kind of min-maxed it there on accident. Like, we got um, a little bit of standing, too. Looks like our hero bonus is back from the edge. People know that I nearly died long before I got here. If I could survive what I went through, then so can they. 15 health. That's not bad. 15 health to the whole community. That's basically like, what, like... Four levels of uh, fighting. Four stars of fighting. Like, four times four is uh, 16, so yeah, basically four levels of fighting. Let me give you the squish. And, um, oh, looks like there might be building materials in that location. Let's go ahead and grab that. So far, the base is coming along pretty well. The plan is to use the trade depot to install multiple salvage furnaces in, I guess, both of our workshops which is a little odd but you know you know that's fine because like i said you know you don't need to use the times four the times four is like the the, the ultimate version of it which like now if you can do both then it means times five is going to be the new thing but like even times two is pretty good and i won't do times two i i will do probably times three because I'm not going to want to tear... that. That's why you want... That's why to do it, you need to have more than two. I don't want to tear down the... And then rebuild the... Uh, the lounge level three. It's going to be kind of a hassle to do. I mean, like, maybe if we had all three of them, I would consider rebuilding all of it. But I don't know. It's, it's just a hassle. So, you know, I feel like three of them, you know, one in each workshop and then maybe an auto shop. It will be perfectly good. Oh, good. We got some, uh, we got a rucksack of building materials, and we got some luxury items. So I would say that was a really good run. Let me see if there's, uh, somebody nearby we can sell to. Someone who's, you know, friendly. I, I hate these fence-sitting guys. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to sell to these guys. Let's hit this outpost and drop our stuff off. And I, I might need to have some words with these, uh, the, these guys who are kind of on the grumpy side. Got a mixed horde here. Actually, no, I think it's just a juggernaut with two ferals nearby. Mixed horde was added in the lethal zone. Basically a horde of several zombies, as well as one of every freak. But no, I think that was literally just a juggernaut spawn and a triple feral spawn. We'll go ahead and refuel. Looks like lounge level three is up. Good, that means we can start training. The rum runners were, oh yes, I remember that quest now. Um, oh, we could finally upgrade the command center. That's good news. And we need the warlord to level that up. We need, we only have one labor left. Um, we don't have anything to plug into there. Um, scheduling a break isn't really gonna help. So I just don't think we can do anything else. Until we get some of these other things done. That's fu it's not a big deal. I'm not I'm not going to be upset about it. Not a big deal. Let's throw this stuff in here. And where are these guys at? I can I can do that quest whenever I want. I I'm I think I want to do something about our our buddies over here. That, like I said, I just, I'm just i just not crazy about this. All this fence sitting is, is really... I, I, it's not doing it for me. I don't have to stand for it. All of this fence sitting. So what I'm going to do is... Put these away. I'm going to get some better painkillers. And then I'm going to put some of this away. And I'm going to reload... I might even... Oh, that cancels my... I'm going to use one of these. I mean, like, I don't, I don't mind using uh, the med kit when I'm just... You know, we, those, I didn't even make those. Those are just med kits we found. They don't sell for much either, so... I don't have a problem using them for just curing some injuries on a character I want to continue using. But yeah, it's these, the gutting knives. I just... I'm just not feeling them. I did all of this fence sitting you know people who don't want to give me quests to become friendly because if, if you're not friendly then i can't sell to you and you cost an absolute truck ton of influence 1500 influence to recruit and as a result i just i just don't think it's gonna work no more of that 
I just don't think this is gonna Hello. work. Would you like to come in? Hello. Go. Go now. Oh, come on now. Yeah, I just I just don't think this is gonna work between us. It's not it's not you, it's me. Real really it is. But you gutting knives guys, like you guys are just gonna have to go. Now you can't blame me for what's happening. And let me let me tell you why. Because when you re remember the whole point of threatening people. When you threaten people, what you're telling them to do is to go away. That's all you're doing. You're just telling them that they need to leave. And uh, they just don't leave. They could leave. That that I give them an option. I didn't say, hey, you need to die right now, no questions asked. I said they, they should leave. And you know what they're not doing? They're not leaving. So, how can you blame this on me? Yeah, you can't. It just doesn't make sense. It's because it's clear. It's clearly their fault. They could leave, but they don't. Oh yes, I love how like, you know like scent block is really such a problem-solving thing, and you know like you might consider it a bit of a waste to use scent block to squish these guys. But I'm gonna be completely honest. We've got like five scent block, and I think that's gonna be more than enough to deal with the rest of these grumpy butts. Now some of you guys might say, Fox, it's your fault that they're grumpy. And I think that's crazy. That's crazy talk. How can it be my fault that they're grumpy? I just told them that they can't sit on the fence and now they need to leave. Like, what is, uh, what is unfair about that? I gave them a chance. They could live. It is kind of funny, I will admit. It is a little funny that they never leave. Like, you could threaten them over and over and over again, but one thing they'll never do is leave. Now, one of the grumpy butts is inside of here. Now, we can't, we can't have that. Oh, yeah, that, look, look at that dodging over there. Like, that low stamina dodging. Okay, let me, I guess I'll lure him back over here. Sounds like she's firing some kind of a 22 caliber gun, that little, like, little, little baby pea shooter sound. Okay, very nice. I also, it was a good idea to threaten them as well, simply because by threatening them, it means that... We get influence for taking them out, and I think also standing. I like how the game counts the, uh, you know, like, gives us credit for it. Sounds like we have successfully, uh, convinced the zombies that it is in their best interest to go inside of the house and do the looting. Sometimes zombies just need a little bit of encouragement, so to speak. Got an eye on that creeper? Are you talking about me? Are you calling me a creeper? Gosh, there sure are a lot of zombies in there. Sure would be a shame if something bad happened. Come on, like, you're making the show worse. You need to die in plain view of everyone. No. How can I see you get eaten by zombies if you hide in a room that I can't see? Hey, I paid a cent. Okay, that's the end of her. Well, you know what? I got another episode to record after this, so I'm just going to put the episode here, and we'll pick up right where we left off. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like the video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future State of K2 content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.